This is the second part of the update video that was silenced. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and share, and comment below, Chronicle Nation. Godspeed. on um, Instagram, it's kind of hard to share things on here because uh, who controls Instagram? And he know all about us. He know all about me. Google know all about me. You understand what I'm saying? The synagogues of Satan know all about me. And believe me, I'm on a red list. I am on a red list. Whether you on, listen, it's better to be on the red list than be on the yellow list. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because regardless, you going to depopulation is the subject family. That's what they're trying to do. You can sit and say, I just want to take care of my family. You're doing the worst because the yellow list will be depopulized. They will depopulate the yellow list. The yellow list is the masses. The red list are people like us that sound the alarm. The blue list is people like you that listen to us. You're going to be sit to on um, uh, people like me will be dragged out of our house and be put to death. But the blue list people will be people that will be put in these concentration camps. Okay? The yellow list are people who don't care about what we're saying and just want to go with the agenda. Just go and go with the flow because they love their life. You know what the Bible said? He that loves his life will lose his life. That means if you don't do nothing about this, you're going to lose it regardless. Because they're going to depopulate this world. They're only looking for 500 million people in this world. So regardless, you're going to have to do something about it. Regardless, family. Regardless. We have an elephant in the room. We got to do something about it. Do it for your children's sake. A lot of people lost their life for their children's sake. Isn't that the best thing? To, to die for, for, for God and die for freedom and die for your loved ones? You got to make that decision. If you don't know what you're going to die for, you're not fit to live. And so I'd rather die on my knees than walk on my feet and be a slave. And this is something I have made up my mind. This is what I re I'm, re I'm ready to die for. And you got to make that decision too. Whether you want to be a slave or you want to be free. It's freedom in Christ. God gave every man an opportunity to make his own decision what he want to do. But the synagogues of Satan uses force. And, and, and um, the Bible said the kingdom of God suffer violence and violence take it by force. We're being forced to do what we're doing. Everything that's in this world is used to manipulate and control. They even in China, they even have satellites that control the cells of the people's brain sound waves controlling people the way people think and china china is a place where they are um, um exercising what they gonna use and what they what not and soon it's gonna come right to the u.s because you sitting back being fat sitting and, and not and, and not saying nothing we are part of the problem family we are part of the family we need more people like me and and a lot of other people who sound the alarm we need more people the bible said where there's one person preaching the gospel it should be thousands in that place but you will listen a lot of people who refuse to do refuse to sound the alarm you will one day but that one day may be too late Maybe too late. That's right. They always running them simulations in China. Already. Already. We got work to do. We have to do it. Don't be slaves. It's up to you, your choice. That's your choice. One man can't do it. A whole nation can do it though. Why you think they're keeping us divided? Why you think they keep 
bringing up little stupid stuff in the media to, to keep your attention, to keep you distracted. If they can keep you distracted, they will keep destroying your constitution. They'll keep bringing forth their predicted programming type of events. Keep shootings and all this stuff happening so people can say, well, you know what? We want to be saved. Let's give up our constitution. Let's give up our rights. When 9-11 happened, people was ready to give up their constitution. They were ready to give up their freedom. But listen, keep me in prayer, family. Be looking for these chronicles. They will drop. It will happen, Lord's willing. And I'm just, I'm just trying to go hard. I'm trying to go deeper in these chronicles to wake people up. I'm going to have people who's behind the scenes, um, who's telling me as they actually in the midst of the things that's happening and they're going to be relating what's actually happening to me so I can sign along. Maybe they don't want to be exposed, but you don't want to expose the person that's actually telling you what's going on behind scenes in these Masonic temples sign a temple in lodges. You don't want those people to tell you these to, you don't want to expose them. But the very things that I'm going to be telling you, you will see it yourself. And the very things I tell you, you're going to see it when it happened. A lot of things we're telling you, it didn't happen, but now it's happening. It's no longer a theory, people. It's a conspiracy, but it's not a theory. A theory is something that I guess or I think or mathematical f- feel like it's going to happen. No, is it, it is a conspiracy that's happening. It's not a theory. And when, when you see it happening, you know it's a conspiracy. It is a hidden agenda that's happening. It's no longer, it's, no, it's not a theory. It's never been a theory. But it has always been a conspiracy. All right, people? So until next time, people, stay vigilant. Protect your family. Prepare yourself. Share these, share these uh, uh, videos. If you don't want to open your mouth and say something, just share it to people. Share it on your pages. And if you persecute it, for righteous sake, happy are you. Happy are you. If you persecute it for righteous sake, that means you're doing what is right. All right? Godspeed, people. Peace. <laughs>